don't know many have tried to be king in their various kingdoms, but they failed. We also know many have killed in order to assume the kingship of their kingdoms, but they failed to assume the throne. However, I am king today. Because of the mercy of God. And that is why I have called for this meeting. And also to thank you for your support. I want the elders to adopt the hierarchy in Ibenato. Some people have suggested that uh, my uncle Ichendu will be made traditional prime minister, but I said no. I cannot be king and my uncle traditional prime minister. So I want the council to elect the traditional Prime Minister of and for the Benato. This, I must say, is the main agenda for this meeting. I greet you. Thank you, Your Majesty. We greet you well. Uh, we, must, we must not waste time on this. A traditional prime minister is a man who is not only a great orator but also a man who is precise, dedicated, confident, loyal, and a man who can hold midst of crises of great provocation. Mindful of these qualities, as one name comes to mind, and I'm that name is Ichie Opaku. I honestly and sincerely hope that I speak the minds of all the members here present. Good, good. <laughs> In the absence of any objection, I declare Ichi Okpaku, traditional prime minister of Ebenato. You are hereby empowered, second in command to the king. As approved by the council, your name shall be sent first thing tomorrow morning to the Ministry of Local Government and Chieftaincy Matters. to assume that this will be the last time we will sit together to talk about this. Whatever existed between us in the past is gone, dead, buried and forgotten. Oh, oh. Why are you disturbing my life? Why? Ogo, oh you are still talking tough. You are my wife that I married according to the traditional marital laws of a Benato people. Please, 
listen to me, Ernest. I am no longer a maiden that you, you will you, you will intimidate with all this rubbish, uh, traditional marital laws. I married you because I thought you were a political frontliner. I found out eventually that you are nothing but a lucky who is constantly depending on uh, allowances and miserable tips. <laughs> I married you because I thought you were a political frontliner. <laughs> I found out eventually that you are nothing but a political lucky that's constantly depending on allowances and miserable tips that sustain idiots. Uh, that hopelessly lie at the corridors of power. Listen to me, Ernest. Listen. I am bigger than allow. I want us to resolve our differences and come together as husband and wife. Never. Never. I prefer staying on my own than having a lucky as husband. Can you tell me in any sense of responsibility that you fared so very well after parting your ways with me? We belong to each other, baby. And I want you to come to terms with this. Here's the reality. I want to give you one candid advice. If we part today, please, don't ever look for me or call me or come near me again. You are aware that I laid the foundation of this achievement that you're claiming that you made so far. Arant nonsense. Arant rubbish. You laid the foundation of sadness and sorrow in my life. I feel like dying each time I remember that you actually fathered my daughter. You see, that same girl that you wouldn't allow me to see. Why are you so harsh, Oko? Now listen, Amanda is my daughter that I raised up single-handedly. She does not know you. You do not know her. So, you better start getting it into your head and go out there and start looking for stupid ladies in your class of lackeys. Let me give you one advice. Do not tell my daughter that she has no father. What will you do if I, if I, if I tell you? If you ever tell my daughter that I don't exist, you will die the most ruthless death ever recorded in the history of Ebenato. Is that a threat of what? Call it whatever you want. Do not say that I did not want you. I appreciate you being my woman. Open up your heart and we won't be having this problem. Go away. You are just looking for who to make to be dying like I don't blame you. You know, I am going to tell you right away that I am delighted with your decision to get married. You know, some people are already complaining. However, now that uh, the matter is also giving you concern, I advise that you marry immediately. Oh, uh, well, uh, Ichi Opak, um, this is the reason why I sent for you. Because I don't want to make mistakes. Now, here's my question. Now, must I marry from Ibenato? Or am I free to marry any woman from any tribe of my choice? Oh, the king of Ibenato is free to marry from anywhere. Anywhere at all. But... One thing that the tradition requires is that the head of the daughters of the family must approve of the woman the king will marry. EJ, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. What I am saying is that the most elderly daughter of your family must approve of the woman you are going to marry. She may not be the one to find the woman. You can find the woman yourself. But before she is crowned Lolo, who is the head of all the women in Ebenato Kingdom, she must be approved by the head daughter of your family. This is not fair. It's not fair. Ogo is the head of all the daughters in my family. And she doesn't even want my progress. Now, how can I even trust her with finding me a wife? Uh, let me repeat here for the purpose of clarity. She may not be the one to find the woman. You can find the woman yourself for her approval. However, I advise that you call her, talk to her, 
After all, she has become a royalty. Maturity and good judgment are hallmarks of royalty. And as such, she cannot afford to do anything that will bring disrepute to the throne of Ebenato. Oh, I mean, this is not right. It's not right. I mean, why should tradition give her such powers? Does she know she possesses such powers? Uh, your Highness, she grew up in this town, and as such, I want to believe she knows the custom and tradition of the Benato Kingdom. But first thing first, call her and talk to her. I had a, a meeting with Michio um, Park. And he told me something I find very disgusting. Uh, what did Ichi Okpaku say? Well, um, he said um, Ogo has the traditional powers to approve of any woman I decide to marry. I don't understand what that means. Ah. It's sad to imagine. Uh, but that is the tradition of our people. Um, it, it wouldn't have been the case if you were just an ordinary man. Yes. But you are the king. Your wife is soon to be crowned law law, leader of women. And uh, tradition insists that a woman must approve the woman. Ah, sad day. Uh, your sister is the head of the girls in our family. Saddled with the responsibility. Anyone, anyone in Ebenato who doesn't know or God hates me. Anyone. I have tried countless times to make her see me as her brother, but she has refused. She didn't even attend my coronation because she doesn't want my progress. Now, how can I trust her with recommending a wife for me? Tell me. Your Majesty, yes. what we are facing here is your first test as king. My honest and sincere advice would be that you should pray to Obasi to continue to guide you. Because with God, all things are possible. This is one law that must change in this kingdom. Your Majesty, I agree with you that we must tread with caution. Hello. Yeah, yes, um, hello. Um, can I speak with Dogo, please? Who is calling, please? This is her brother. Is the only self a been at our kingdom? Uh, can you please call her back? Our girl is not in town. I am sorry, but I know this is our girl I'm speaking with. Our girl, why do you hate me this much? I mean, why do you have to always have. Hello? What does Hello? it mean? For the first time. I am beginning to regret why I even clamored to be king. A lady who hates me so much suddenly is the one to decide my future. This is going to be tough. Very tough. without saying hello. You're into bad games lately. Who is this place? Ellis, your husband. What do you want from me, Ellis? Eh? Can't I have peace in my own house? I want to take you to the governor's house. By this time of the night? Oh, they have given you another tactics, eh? You want to use me for ritual, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Aga. 
His Excellency is organizing a party for the visiting mayor of Toronto, Canada. It will be a big blast. I want to go with my wife. I don't want to go. And please, Ernest, don't ever call this line a game. Ah, what does he want? What do you want from me, Ernest? Does it mean you can't let me rest? Eh? If you are planning to lure me to that your cross bed again, I am telling you, it will not work. Uh, 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 excuse me, please. Excuse me. Um, this is your brother speaking. Uh, Oko, I have never for one day offended you. Can you lend me your ears, please? Stop. I'm listening. Um, I want to send you the royal convoy to pick you up at your place tomorrow. I want us to have a private meeting. Um, am I obliged? No. You have used your powers from the government to become king. How are you sure that I accept you being the king? Oh God, I want us to talk as one family. Um, should I send them? Don't send. Call me back a day after tomorrow. And I'll give you my response. Uh, noted. Um, I, I thank you immensely for at least having time to respond to my call. Um, you're such a wonderful sister. Um, I, I, I will give you a call in two days then. Does he want? Tell her I would like to see her today or unfailingly tomorrow. Uh, don't ever mention to her the reason why I want to see her. Just give her the impression that it is just a kind of clarion call. Huh? Use all the man in you to bring her here. So what if she refuses? I wouldn't even want to think of that. You see, Ogo is not as difficult as people make her out to be. She's a very simple woman who does, 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 does not like to take no for an answer. So, use all everything you've got to convince her to come. You see, I would like to handle her myself. It's a wicked world. King. Yes. Greetings, Your Majesty. Uh, greetings, um, my princess. How has your day been? Oh, very well. I stopped by to ask you what you would like to have for lunch. My dear, your brother is faced with something far mightier than lunch. Please oblige me, please. It has always been your wish that I get married, am I correct? Of course that's correct. I have always wanted you to get married, which is the reason why I've been asking you to get yourself a wife. Mm. Could this be what you say is mightier than lunch? I've just been um, told that Ogo has head of all the daughters in this family. is settled with the responsibility of approving any woman I choose to marry. Now if she refuses to do so, that means I will not marry. Sorry, Your Majesty, but who told you that? Well, the council with us, and uh, they said it's tradition, and I am so confused. Are you sure that the elders and council have not been bought? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, Uncle Lundulwe actually attested to that, and now I know I'm at August mercy. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. Hmm. So, what do we do now? Well, I, I called Ogo personally and uh, I told her I wanted to send the royal convoy to her so that we can have a private meeting. But she in turn told me to call her back in two days. 
Would you want me to talk to her on your behalf? No, 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 no. Not, not at all, not at all. Uh, please, don't even speak to her on this issue until I must have spoken with her. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, what would you like to have for lunch? Anything you approve of for lunch is fine by me. I know exactly what to get for you. Should I tell you the truth? I am feeling threatened. Why? I am Usondo, a son from the same town. Why should you feel threatened because I came to you? Your king called me yesterday and asked me to allow him to send some men to pick me up. I said no. And I asked him to call me back tomorrow. Now you are here, telling me that Uncle Ndulwe asked me to come back to Ebenato. I don't understand it at all at all. Why are they all asking me to come back? Why? You mean you do not trust anybody anymore in the village? <laughs> See, they want you back because they are convinced you can do something for them as head of the daughters. You want me to be sincere with you? I feel you are one of them now. You are equally my enemy. And I will want to ask you never to come back to my office again. Auntie, Auntie why? I'm not your enemy. Why are you saying this? If you're not my enemy, then tell me. Tell me the truth. Why are they all asking me to come back? Why? Tradition demands that you choose who the king marries. And that is why they want you back. I don't even know why I'm telling you this, but I believe you just come back and choose a wife for the king so that you will just save us some stress. You, you, you understand? Please. I want you to understand that Eric is an illegitimate child. His mother came into this family and destroyed the marginal peace we used to enjoy. Even if I die tonight, always know that I hate him. I hit him and his mother with a passion. It would be appreciated if you girls would punish him for daring to regard himself a member of this family. But mommy, father even calls him his son. And I am telling you that he is not a member of this family. He remains an evil child and must be treated as one. A time may come in the future when you girls will have an opportunity to punish him. You know what? Go and tell them that I will come back very soon. Soon? What, what is soon? Soon as in what time specific? Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? When, when? Just tell them very soon. Hmm? And I want to be... I want to appreciate the information you just gave to me now. Thank you very much. But please, I beg you with the gods of this land, Please don't behave as if any, I, 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 I told you anything at all, please. I am not an idiot. I cannot, uh, I cannot betray a man that gave me information. And if you oblige me such important information, <laughs> I'll keep giving you one. Take. Come. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. You know what? Tradition has finally pushed him back to me. And I'm going to reduce him to naught. <laughs> Sister of God. I can't believe this is happening. You know it has always been our mother's wish to get rid of that bastard. Eh? Hey. And now is the right time. The opportunity I have to hit him below the belt. And I'm going to hit him real hard. <laughs> That's my sister. But sister, where are you going to get the witch? Since Akaziago has become a popular home for witches, mm -hmm. we may need to drive down to Akaziago. Oh, if that turns out to be the only option we have, the important thing is that we have agreed to do it, and that will make our mother happy in the grave. 
your sister. Do you think that anyone from Eden and can go to Akazia go to get your wife? I think we should be more creative and practical about this. Did I say we are going to get him a wife from Akaziago? No! We are going to get something from Akaziago that will use to manipulate any woman we present to him as his wife. Ha! Sister girl! That's my big sister! <laughs> <laughs> you have destroyed him all! Huh? <laughs> that is my greatest aim. Hmm. And Mama will be happy wherever he is. Yes, yeah, so may I still rest in peace. Oh. Amen! Huh. I must admit that I'm happy with the transformation of our father's compound and the massive palace. <laughs> you are now a very popular king. <laughs> we have no other option than to accept you as our brother. Well, um, thank you very much, my sister. Thank you. I must say I'm honored that you did honor my invitation. And uh, I'm honored as well you've accepted me back as your brother. We have also taken a decision as regards to the woman you will marry. And I promise you, I'm going to get you the best wife you can ever have. Well, uh, that is heartwarming, but I have a lady I want to marry. Yes, you see, she was um, an intern administrative secretary in the office of the governor, and now she's a special assistant to the wife of the governor. And if you permit me, I will invite her over and uh, you will see she's a good wife. The woman you just described must be a politician. Yes, yes. Can't you settle with someone else? We don't want you to marry a politician. Mm -hmm. yeah? Because women in politics don't make good wives. Ah, uh, my sister. You see, this woman in question is not the kind of politician that would not make a good wife. She comes from a good Christian background. Look, now that you two have decided to help me solve this problem, let me present this lady to you, and you will see she will make a good wife. Hmm. Uh, we don't want to hurry into this marriage. Mm -hmm. I am a victim of hurried marriage. And it always ends in regret. Uh, well, uh, what I'll say is this. Um, I know this lady inside out. And I've known her for a very, very long time. I mean, why would we waste our time going to look for another wife when I have a lady I want to marry? Uh, <laughs> uh, you see, you must forget all these years of misunderstanding. We are your sisters and we want the best for you. Uh, we don't want you to hurry into this marriage. Mm -hmm. Just give us one month and so we can study this lady. What do you need one month for? I mean, come on. I have told you I know this woman inside out. She is a very good lady. Trust me. We are your sisters. Just trust us. Tell us her name and where we can find her. And I will go and see what she can do. Brothers, for your own interest. And our own too. And even the palace. We are looking as if you were disturbed by all the rubbish you were The world is not disturbed. I was reading in between the lines. Sincerely, sister, I think we should allow him to marry the woman he found for himself. No, Nkiru. I disagree with you. He will marry the woman, but not before we have transformed her into something we can manipulate. Sister, just tell me one reason why you want us to do this. You want to know? Uh-huh. Eric has used his power in government 
to hijack the palm plantation that was giving us millions of naira. The only way we can get it back is by hijacking his wife. Tradition has given me the opening I want and I am going to explore it to the fullest. What do you think will, will happen if we confront this woman and we find out that she's not the type that we can manipulate? That is why we have to go to Akaziag immediately. We will not even make the mistake of getting to the woman without going to get some powers. Huh? We have to go to Akaziago, acquire some powers, unleash it on this woman. She will not be able to withstand the power. Remember what our mother said, Eric must be punished and this is the right time and the best time to punish him. Let's go! Right for you to give them my address? Ah, my dear. You see, we have a very awkward tradition in Ibenato. Um, before I get married, the eldest of my sisters must endorse the woman. Yeah, that's it. Uh, well, I'm simply calling you so that you get yourself prepared and not get caught unawares. But you would have given them those pictures of the women His birthday last year. They would have endorsed me immediately. My dear Adil, I did give them the pictures, you know. They're not saying you're not good, but they want to make sure that the lady in the picture is you. you know, that's it. They just want to confirm. That's all. It's okay. So, when are they coming? Well, I don't know. Uh, but they will call you before they come. So, how are you coping with your new responsibility as a king? Everything is going well. I have concluded the palace and I'm having an excellent understanding with members of my cabinet. Sounds nice. It's alright there. Uh, I will be waiting for the sisters to call, okay? It's alright, darling. Uh, I love you and hope to see you soon. You take care, dear. Bye. Bye. Well, fellow elders, I, uh, call this meeting so that we can deliberate the way forward. With all sense of responsibility. I want to assert that the king is ruling us well. And we as elders of this land have a responsibility and that responsibility is to make sure the things are easy for the king that is my agenda and i would like the council to take a decision <coughs> i can tell you immediately that i personally don't understand what you mean Customs and traditions are made for man and not the other way around. I would like us to take, to make a critical analysis of the traditional position that grants the woman the sole power to choose a wife for the king. We all know she does not like the king. And it is wrong, it is very wrong for a woman to choose a wife for the king. Uh, Ichi and Lue, I think I understand what you are trying to safeguard. Uh, but the truth is that we cannot change the age-long custom and tradition of our people. Yes, uh, she may not uh, like the king, I agree. But this state of hatred is something that can change with time. Ichiobago, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. 
we are elders of this land and we can make binding pronouncements we here and now can take a decision to change any age-old custom or tradition then i disagree with you i want us to define another agenda for this meeting as a matter of fact i'm not comfortable with this agenda which is under discussion and i want it changed Chiyopaku, have you forgotten that i played a very prominent role in your becoming the traditional prime minister now you are going around uh, behaving as if you are the, the lord of uh, everybody <laughs> Oh, am I not under attack for nothing? What did I do wrong? My only concern is for the safeguarding and protection of uh, the cultural heritage of our people. Then why is he seeing me as being uh, problematic? Why? I'd like to ask you all yeah? a question. I'd like to ask you a question. Now tell me, what if she goes berserk and refuses to choose a wife for the king? That cannot happen. Never! She knows that the king must marry urgently. She cannot hold this kingdom down. You have not answered my question. We are talking about people that I know. They are my brother's children. I know them well. What if they decide not to choose a wife for the king? Uh, my fellow elders, I don't want us to start thinking the impossible. Just like Ichi Ozodiamo has already said, or God cannot and will not hold this kingdom down. Well, if she decides to go berserk and does your fear, then the elders will roll into action against her. Let us understand one thing. Ebenato is our town. Our only town for that matter. And now that we have a vibrant king who is connected in high places, we must not allow little things to distract us. Never! Sister, huh? something tells me that we're not doing the right thing now. Did you come this far with me to sound like this? Don't tell me you want to behave like Esther. Or I'll just kill you here and now. Or kill, kill you well well. Sister, if it's a plantation that is a problem, let us ask him down to us. I know he will do it instead of us going all this far. No, no, no. Uh, are you going to cross us over? Look on well if you want to eh? Don't let us come out in the public and wash our dirty linen here. Eh, we will want to go to our Are you cross us over? Something tells me that both of you are reality. What do you mean by that? The government has tried everything possible to, to develop Akaziago and they refuse to be developed. And they are convinced that witchcraft is the only way forward. And they are committed to the practice of witchcraft. Ladies of reality should not be in Akazia. Are you from Akazia or you just want to speak with kindness against them? Be very, very careful how you behave in Akazia. Most of them do not have conscience. Did you hear that? Did you hear it? He said, be very, very careful. Leave those things. Let's go. Let's go. What, what do you have to do with these things? Let's go. I have this feeling that uh, Ichi Ndulue 
is going sentimental. And sentimentalism is unknown in our custom and tradition. So I want us to decide here and now the next step we are going to take. Yes. It's, uh, I have wanted to ask if anybody communicated with Ogo before now. But there was no time. Um, now tell me, should we take a decision on the next step possible? When Ogo has not made any categorical statement that she is not willing to do her job as the head of the daughters in the Holy uh, Royal Family. Thank you very much. Uh, let me tell you, there is a difference, a big difference between us and other men who are not in class. And uh, we who are members of the ruling class must not be taken on our ways. So we have to take decision and we must be willing to abide by our decision. You're becoming weaker and weaker by the day. And I think I know the reason. And what is the reason? Of course you're worried about my sisters. And I've told you to relax. But they're also my sisters as well. You know, I didn't uh, uh, know um, who Ogo's husband was. Until of recent, I found out he is my personal friend, Ernest. Ernest confided in me and told me he's been trying to reconcile with Ogo, but Ogo will not listen to him. The only person that can reconcile those people is Amanda. Mm. But then Ogo has refused to allow the girl to know who the father is. So how do I get to see Amanda? Amanda used to be my girl. Mm. I mean, we used to you know, talk every other time. But... Um, the minute I decided to come and reconcile with you, she stopped seeing me as her aunt. I want to adopt her as the youngest in this family and make her understand she's a royal as well. Ogo has spoiled that girl. Ogo has spoiled that girl to the point that she does not have regard for anybody. She has just, she just became totally materialistic. Look, just get her for me. All right, do that. If it's money she wants, I'll give her lots of it. Make her understand I love her. And then as a member of this family, we'll make progress from there. Okay. Mm. We'll, we'll work on it. Hi. Mm. Their plants are so green here. I don't like this, but I don't know what to like about it. I love this village. They have a lot of fruits and fresh vegetables. It's everywhere. Otaka, your father will not have passed without a greeting. Where did you learn that? Which he did not teach you. Oh, wait a minute, woman. How did you learn that we are not of Otaka? Early marriage is not a guarantee that you reproduce early. Descendants of Otaka, do not do that. We should make him angry in his grave. Wait right there and talk to me explicitly. Talking tough is not a guarantee that one is tough. Toughness goes beyond words and appearances. It is more of what one can do. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, woman, how did you know that Otaka was our father. Descendants of Otaka should not seek the decision of that finger that had the potential to feed you forever. You want my children. You cannot go without speaking to us. Talk to us in plain language. Sister, tell me one reason why we must proceed on this trip. One reason why we must continue this trip is that Eric is our enemy. He must pay for what his mother did. His mother did not do anything. Father dated her as a normal woman. 
and the romance resorted into a child, which is a rick. Father called him son. And he was there throughout father's burial. He's now the king of Ebenato. Sister, he's not doing badly, you know. What time do we just give him the benefit of doubt? Oh. Now listen to me. There is no going back. We are now in Nakaziago. And we cannot go back. Move! Let's go. So that woman, that woman qualified him as a singer that can feed us forever. That woman. Never! Never! Eric can never, never feed me. I want you to begin to see him as an intruder who came into our lives to reap where he never sold. Begin to see him as an intruder. Now move. Move! Get the, the, the journey of what life with trials and strife under the sun. Auntie, I'm at home relaxing. I want you to come to Ibenato and meet with the king. Meet with the king? Who is the king? My younger brother is now the king of Ibenato and he wants to meet with you. Uh, but my mother never told me you have a younger brother. Well, that's because uh, we had a little bit of a misunderstanding and um, he was later on banished from Ibenato. But now that he has become king, he heard about his niece and he's asked to see you. Uh, Auntie, uh, my mother warned me never to travel to Ibenato. That's also because we thought we were hated by everyone. But now that we found out that we were all wrong, we just have to come back home. Listen, I need you to come to Ibenato. The king might even give you a car. Wow, a car. Is he that rich? Of course he is. <laughs> he even bought me a brand new car. And I'm sure you could get something even better. See, I don't know when I'll come, but I, I bet soon. Amanda, I want you to get into a cab right now and come to Ibenato. Tell the taxi driver to bring you to the palace. Now. <sighs> I see, here's the thing. I'd love to, but mommy traveled to Akaziago and she said I should never leave the house. Wait, does it mean you don't trust me? Oh no! <laughs> no, Auntie Esther, I trust you. Then start coming. Okay? Uh. Okay. Right. See you. Okay, sure. Okay. What should be doing in Akaziago? I'm going to assist you. Go around the whole of Akaziago, and all men will bear me witness that I'm a very straightforward person. But you have to tell me what you want me to do, and then I'll know how to come in. Kadi. Okay. Information everywhere is that Akaziago is a very powerful town. Yes, I agree with you. But that's ultimately depends on the very branch of power that is being treated. We are talking about spiritual powers. There's a woman that is about to be married into our family. Information reaching us says that she's a very powerful politician that wines and dines with the mighty and the big men of state and federal level. We are afraid that she's going to hijack her family. We have come all the way from Ebenato so we can control this woman. Can you do it for us? Do you know what they call me here in Akaziago? No. They call me Onyo Melunandu. Wow. If you listen to me, I'll advise you to leave that woman alone. Why? Huh? We're talking about a woman who wants to destroy our family. We have come to acquire power so we can cage her before she cages us. Can you do it for us? This is Umeni's compound. He's the most powerful man we have here in Akaziago. And he's the only one that can solve your problems. Sister, we can still leave this town. I don't like what we are doing. Please let us go. 
You can still go. The stone that was once rejected has risen to be the chief cornerstone in Ebenato. Is he the one we have come to meet? Yes. His name is Okeko Mini. And like I told you before, he's the most powerful man in this town. Any problem he cannot solve, they know that that problem has no solution at all at all. Okay, Komeni. These are ladies that have come from Ebenato. They have come to seek powers to cage a woman that is planning to cage them. So I brought them to you because I know you are the best we have. <laughs> you are welcome. He who sees the sky has seen the ocean. <laughs> Sit down there and wait for me and come. He sounds like a soothsayer. Is he one? Okay, Komeni. This man is a combination of everything men aspire to be. Very powerful. Don't worry, you will see with your eyes. Don't worry. Come on, stop behaving like a chicken. Come on! That's why we're here. <laughs> I have not received any call from your sisters and nobody has visited me. I wonder if they are still going to come. Well, uh, we are keeping our fingers crossed. As we speak, um, the elders are discussing if the tradition that gives a god such powers could be suspended. I'm expecting good news from them. Eric, are you coming any soon? My dear, you seem to forget I'm now a paramount leader of a kingdom. Come on, Eric, I understand. I know, it's just that it's a long time I saw you and I'm beginning to miss you terribly. Uh, I miss you too, alright? But you just have to be patient. Okay? Let's hold ourselves, right? just for some time, just be patient. You will soon be Lola, leader of all women in Ebenato. Okay, can I come and spend this weekend with you? Oh um, my dear, that will not be a splendid idea. My life is in the public glare, you know, because I occupy a very, very sensitive position. Just be patient, all right? Very soon you, you'll soon be a royal. Just get used to it, because it will happen soon. <laughs> That's very romantic. Wow. <clears throat> I can't wait to have that experience. Of course. I'll keep you posted on every dealing. Bye for now. Bye, darling. Hmm. Your Highness. Uh, yes, Princess. I have called Amanda and um, she has agreed to come and see you. Ah, very good, very good. So, um, what is she going to tell her mother? Mm, she said the mother went to Akaziako. But she promised me she was coming. Akaziako. What will Ogo be doing at Akaziago? I have no idea. I am as shocked as you are. Well, never mind. Whatever she went to do in Akaziago, sooner or later, we shall get to find out. Don't bother your head about it. Oh, brother. Daughters of Utaka are here to destroy a woman that is destined to lead the women of Ebenato to greatness. May I know why? We have not come to destroy her. Uh, we have the belief that she may become uncontrollable if she gets married to her brother, the king. We want to be able to control her. That's all. You have already accepted this woman to be your leader. Why are you here? I don't even know why I'm here. I've asked my sister that we discontinue with this mission, but, okay. but she refused. Okay. No, don't call me, sister girl. Count me out of this whole plan. I'm going. Nkeru. I'm going. Nkeru, ka. Uh, uh, please don't mind her. I cannot go back now. Tradition bestows enormous powers on me. I, I want to be able to explore all the powers. You are going to get all you want without the use of any powers. But how is that ever possible? I am up and against a politician. And politicians are known to be brutal and domineering. I have come to acquire powers. How can you ask me to live without powers? How? I prove this woman freely. And she will be able to give you all the attention you require. 
and will be there for you always. Look, I can not that go him. Use any power to subdue her, and you may face all your husband threatened. I don't have a husband. <laughs> your daughter is going to be reconciled to your husband. The woman you seek to cage may be your only source of protection when father and daughter reconcile. Look, Chameleon says that he believes so much in unity. That is why he changes his color to any color around it. <clears throat> I am advising you that the best thing for you to do is to align yourself with this woman. She is humble and so accommodating. Are you telling me that you cannot give me powers? I, okay, okay, how many? He's a man of many sides. There are many things I can do, but I have given you the best advice. See her as your friend, and she will see you as that. I'm going to go into Mantiano. Amanda. Yes. Are you trying to tell me you don't know this man? No. Never met him before. Now, all the times you've been with your mother, has she ever mentioned the name Ernest Zopaleke to you before? Ernest Zopaleke? Yeah. Yes, it does kind of ring a bell. I once stumbled into some documents that bear that name in one of my next chambers. Hi. Give me your head. This man here has been wanted to meet you. He married your mother according to the marriage laws and rights of a Benato. His name is Ernest Obaleke. And he's your father. Sweet man, I'm waiting for this moment to hold your hand. And to look into your eyes and tell you that I'm your father. I miss you so much. And now that I found you, because it is getting late and you're not making moves like someone who is planning to travel back to Ebenato today. I want you to take me to another person. Uh -uh. I have seen the so-called Keiko Mene. He doesn't know anything. Hey, how can you say that? Look, Okeko Mene is known as the strongest man in this community. You cannot say he doesn't know what he's doing. I'll be disappointed if you don't take me to another. Uh, not that I don't, there are no other people who but you see, Okay Kumini is the strongest of them all. Take me to another. I'm not comfortable with what he suggested. <sighs> okay, okay, if you want me to take you to another, I'll take you to take another. Take me to another. Where's the way? Let's go. It is obvious you will not return to Ebenato this night. That will not be a problem. I can sleep anywhere. The important thing is that I live with something. Certainly you will live with something. 
I shall give you the oil of the unholy oil. But you shall buy a bracelet and dip it in the oil for seven days. You will present her with the bracelet as a gift and ensure she will she must not reject the gift from you. I repeat, she must not reject the gift from you. That which you seek, you shall have. When am I going to get the oil? The oil will be ready before you leave tomorrow morning. Are there no repercussions? Repercussions? You mustn't forget. Nothing goes for nothing. That is the ancient truth. But the most important thing is what you want, you will have. And that which you get will be better than what you give. I told you before, look, Ezebilo here is an honorable man. And here in Akaziago, and even beyond, we regard him as one of the most decisive witch doctors who is sure to produce results. I told you not to bother. I told you you would get what you want. You will have the oil before you leave in the morning. Isabelo, we shall take our leave now. I'll see you later. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Look, this your attitude is just really confusing. You said you wanted to talk to the king. Here you are, right in front of the king, and you are not saying anything. Why are you not talking? I don't understand. Immediately I faced the truth. I forgot everything that happened. What do you mean by that? You and Ogo said you wanted more time, which I gave you. And then you traveled to Akaziago, the land of witches. What did you go there to do? And what is it you wanted to tell me, Nisha? Who told you that we would travel to Akaziago? Forget about who told me what. Did you go to Akaziago or not? So many things are going into my head right now. I can't remember anything. Gilu, you can talk to me. Are you sure you're not under the influence of something? Esther, tell me. How did you know that we traveled to Akaziago? Amanda had been reconciled with the father. I beg your pardon. I'm serious. And guess what? She was very excited getting to meet her father at last. Why would you do a thing like that? Her girl has already told her daughter that the father does not exist. And why would somebody tell her daughter that her father doesn't exist? Listen, there's something wrong with that, her girl, our sister. And we have to put hands together to find it out. Thank you. Why did he go to Akaziago? I can't remember anything. I told you that I can't remember anything. Uh. Unbelievable. My sweetheart, this is your home where daddy been living for a long time. Welcome home. Thanks, daddy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> really do. Oh, quite cozy. Lots of hard work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but dad, I just keep thinking, are you sure we're doing the right thing? I really think we should have waited for mom to come back. My sweetheart, we are doing the right thing. Your mother loves you, and she'll come for you when she needs you. All right? Yeah. And even when she does come, are you going to allow her into this house? Oh, my arms are open to welcoming your mother. She belongs here. <sighs> Honey, yeah. in the past, I tried to reconcile with your mother, but I made an avalanche of resistance. Oh. You know what? You are the magic. You are the one that's going to cast the spell on her to bring her home where she belongs. You understand? 
I love you and your mother so dearly. I love you too. <laughs> Come on, let me show you to your room. <laughs> Woo! I can't believe this. Are you giving me the assurance that everything will work out the way he said it? Yes. Just follow the instructions as given. Leave the bracelet in the oil for seven days and then present it to her as a gift, as instructed. Then every other thing will be fine. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You have proved to be a very good friend and I <laughs> promise I'm going to reciprocate any time you come to Ebenato. <laughs> <laughs> I like the promise. <laughs> okay. But you see, there's one more thing you want to do for me before you leave this town. What do you want me to do? You must drink from this stream. What? Oh, come off it with the Me? Drink from this dirty stream? I'm not a villager that should be drinking from stream. Please, don't follow your sister's bad example. She left this village without drinking from this stream. And I bet you, she will get to Ebenato and will not remember anything that has happened in Akaziago. I don't understand. Listen, anyone who visits this community necessarily drink from this stream. It gives you retentive memory. Yes. If you live without drinking from this stream, you will get to a Benato and you will not remember anything that has happened here. You won't even remember you met a man like me. So please, just bend down and drink from this stream. If you want to succeed in your quest to catch the woman you qualified as being extremely domineering. What? Yes. Hi. This is going to be very hard one. This stream is too dirty. Please, if you want to succeed in your quest, follow my instructions. Drink from the stream. the water from any point you think is the right place to fetch it. Uh, there is no point as the right portion. It's the same water. I should drink it. Yes. You must drink some quantity here now. Then when you get to Ebenato, you can finish the rest. But you must drink some here. This water is dirty. Dry. Today. There are signs that make me believe that all is not well. 
What size are you talking about? So, some very funny things happened inside my apartment today. My, my portrait just fell on this on its own accord and, and broke into pieces. And all of a sudden, um, water sprinkled all, all over me. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. Is your life threatened in any way? I, I, I think so. That's why I want to come over to Ebenato. Um, please, my dear, just calm down. Calm down. I don't want anything to happen to you. Please. Okay. All right. What? So your mother is in possession of these documents. Do you know that I asked her severally the whereabouts of these documents? And she denied it. Why would she seize them? It cost me for crying out aloud 20,000 pounds to replace this. Uh, well, I, I do know for a certainty she initially wanted to sell the house. But she pretty much didn't succeed and I'm guessing that's what prompted her to abandon the documents in her chambers. <sighs> oh Lord. It bothered me that she went to this extent. I regarded your mother so much. In fact, she was the best thing that ever happened to my life. We were getting along so fine until uh, things started falling apart. Dad, you do know that the reason I'm fully back at your house is because you promised me not shortly. So, what are you saying? I know, my sweetheart, I promised you. But if you were my shoes, you'll agree that this is tough. I trusted your mother with a whole lot of things in the past. And now, I'm beginning to think that uh, she's the cause of the colossal setback that I had in business over the years. Just hold on a sec. Hold up. I'm trying so hard to get you right now. What are you saying, in essence? You just lost me right now. My sweet little girl. I know you're a woman. Um, the queen to be called me today and said uh, she would be coming. I want her to be in the royal guest house. Uh, why guest house? She should be in the queen's chambers. But my princess, she's not queen yet. Ogo said uh, she needs time before she can give her approval and that's why I don't want her to be in the queen's chambers yet. Oh, come on. No one will know where she's staying. Ah, but posterity will judge me if I ask him defy the traditional provision of our people. That is one thing I don't want to happen, you know. Okay. Did she give you time of arrival? Uh, she said she will be coming today. And knowing I didn't do, she will definitely come today. So please tell everyone working within the palace to sit up to their responsibilities. Adindu is a very, very intelligent person, and as such, would take meaning to any careless talk. Right. Consider it done. I know I can always count on you. Um, let me get the maids. It is said here in, in, in Ebenata that there is no situation will make it impossible for the elders to eat kula. I wonder if it is the same thing where you come from. Of course, yes. Then why have you refused Kola? <clears throat> I came all the way from Akajaku to tell you something important. I am not here for Kola. In seven days from now, someone will offer a gift of bracelet to the Queen of Ebenato. That gift must never be accepted. I don't understand. Uh, we don't have a queen yet in this kingdom. <laughs> but your king already knows who his wife is. You must do everything in your power to ensure that he marries the woman he wants to marry and that she will never accept that gift of bracelet. If I may ask, what is your interest? I am asking because it is generally known that your people hate my people. <laughs> you don't judge a people 
by the action of a few. Your women once saved my grandmother when she was drowning as her boat capsized. It is my time to pay back the people of Ebenato. That is my interest, and that is why I am here. Wanted. Um, the lady I want to marry is in the palace guest house. What? How can you invite her to the palace without my approval? Oh, well, I did not invite her. Um, her life was threatened in the, you know, uh, apartment where she stays. Uh, knowing that her future is here, she decided to be under the palace protection. I am not comfortable with her presence in this palace. She needs to go to the palace. Yes, she needs to go through a traditional process. She needs my approval before she arrives. Do you mean to say you're not going to give this approval now? I am still thinking about it. Thinking about it? Now how long will it take you to give this all important approval? Seven more days. I beg your pardon. I need seven more days before I can give her the approval to become your wife. Well if it's going to take you seven days to give this approval, why don't you give it now? It took me time to accept you as my brother. Now that I have you, I am ready to go all out to give you all it takes for you to be fulfilled. Seven more days I need to study her further. And I can assure you that we will not be making any mistakes. J, I called you because it is said that two heads are better than one. And I also assume that uh, four ears are better than two. <laughs> <laughs> you are very correct. Uh, you are correct again. Uh, our friend from Akaseagu has come to us with some information that I consider vital. But I want you to hear him. What did he say? I am still here in person and I think you should ask me. I am sorry, our good friend. I'm listening. I am listening. Yeah. A gift or bracelet will soon be offered to the Queen of Ebenato in seven days from today. Men of the ruling class must ensure that that gift is turned down. It is confusing me. You and I know very well that there is no queen in Ebenato. I already told him, but he insists that the king has saved him and that he should be allowed to marry whoever he chooses. Our good visitor from Akajiago. Uh, I am sorry, we are not aware of such a queen in our midst. Benevolent women of Ebenato. Once you saved my grandmother, I came all the way from Akajiago to reciprocate that life seven assistance. The king must marry a woman he wants to marry, and she must not accept the offer of a bracelet from anybody. What do you think? The king has not told us about any woman. And we cannot uh, confront him until he opens up to us. But do you think it's a wonderful idea? Yeah, definitely. The, the king of Ebenato must be trusted to do what he likes. But we cannot confront him until he confronts us. Mm. Our hands are tied. Have we met before? No, I, I doubt. Are you here to see my brother? Um, actually, I, I came to see the king. I am Madden, his fiance. Hey, sis, here you are. 
I was just uh, coming to call you to introduce you to our coming queen. <laughs> we are already interacting. Oh, I see. <sighs> You're welcome to the palace, my dear. Thank you, ma. I think possible that you must have seen me, maybe on the television, when I was active in the office of the governor. She's a star. <laughs> I... Don't you agree with me that um, she will give our brother lots of children? <laughs> she says so. Mm. I actually came by to know why you're listening to the elders. Those men are old and they don't have the right to dictate to you. Also, though I'm not comfortable with the way you're talking. I mean, I, our elders are guiding me in line with the culture and traditions of our people. How can you say they are dictating to me? And then, the brothers, by the way, there's this beautiful woman I want you to meet. You'll be delighted at, at what you see. She's actually at my place right now, and if you give me the permission, I'm going to bring her over. You have to damn those elders because you have to do what you have to do as king. Are you aware that I would not have been king if these elders you're telling me to damn right now didn't give me their support? Yes, but that doesn't mean they are indispensable. Listen, just permit me to bring this woman over. You'll be delighted you, you saw her. She's, I know your taste. She's the type you want. And trust me, she'll make a fine queen. May I know what makes you think I'll be interested in this woman you're talking about? Oh, because, because she's, she's huge and domineering. You know, the kind of woman that this kingdom needs as queen, you know, very... You know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Osondo, I will settle this once and for all. I am not interested in this, your domineering lady. Yeah, but your majesty, you've not even seen her. She, she, she has really beautiful. Uh, there's no need my seeing her. Because as it is, as I speak with you, there is a lady in the palace. Her name is Adindo. And she is to be the future queen of Ibenato. You mean the queen in this palace? Yes. Has a goal given approval? Well, uh, she hasn't, but uh, she promised to do so in seven days. Where are you? Mom, you lied to me when you told me my father doesn't exist. But oh, I finally met him and contrary to what he made me believe, you were the one that abandoned him. Wait a minute. You mean you started talking with Ernest without my consent? Oh God, Mom, drop it. I'm here at his house and he is a really wonderful man. And he's promised to accept you back if you come back to him. Look, Mom, the best part is that he has remained single ever since. So just, just come home. Mom, you have no idea how good it would be for me to have both parents under the same roof with me. You know? And, Mom, hello, are you still there? Hello? Do you still remember the advice that I gave you? Not to tell my daughter that she doesn't have a father. Because if you do, you're going to die a miserable death in our town, in the Benanta. Metis, what did you say to my daughter? Oh, the truth. That you are such a wonderful woman. Such a beautiful woman. The best thing that ever happened to my life. And that my arms are open. In your dreams, undo what you did on my daughter, or you will see a different woman from the one you used to know all these years. Honey, organize yourself and come back home where you belong. You have such a beautiful daughter, a big home, such a loving and caring husband. Nobody's stopping you to come back home. Come back to your family. We are one big family, and I want us to remain one big family. You 
you are looking at me as if I'm speaking some form of Arabic and you don't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. And that's the truth. I don't know what you're saying. You brought me here to Ebenato with the promise of showing me the king that wants a lady like me for a wife. Now you're asking me to go back to Ebenato. I don't see. Uh, but Uncle, there's a saying in this kingdom that when a babysitter is brought to babysit the baby, if the baby dies, the babysitter goes back. And what do you mean? I brought you here to see the king. And he has proposed to marry somebody else. So I suggest we discontinue the business and the process. Do you think I am the kind of lady you can toss around? Listen, you brought me here to see the king. And I am not living without seeing that king. Did you hear me? Okay. I don't know if you get me right. Okay. Maybe you don't understand the words that I'm talking or that are coming out of my mouth. You are not going to see the king. That is all. I. I <laughs> Are you showing me the king or, or, or do you want me to kill you here? So you have the potential to kill Then, then you see the king. You, are you, are you, are you? Listen, listen. Next time, you mind your business. Did you hear me? Learn to mind your business. I shall give you the oil of the unholy oil, but you shall buy the present and dip it in the oil for seven days. You will present her with the present as a gift and ensure she will it. She must not reject the gift from you. I had a visitor from Akasiagu four days ago who made a very weighty statement. He said that uh, you have seen the woman that you are going to marry and that we should allow you to marry her. <laughs> but since you had not mentioned anything to me, I thought I would come to you to inquire if indeed you have a queen somewhere. And uh, who is this visitor from Akaziago? Uh, his name is Okeke Omeni. He said that uh, some benevolent women of our kingdom here uh, saved his grandmother from drowning many years ago. And he had been looking for the opportunity to reciprocate that benevolent act of our people. Uncle Ndudwe, I'm not... Uh getting you at all. Your Majesty, was he right when he said you had a queen somewhere? Uh, yes, he was. Uh, her name is Adindu and uh, she has been within the palace for four days now. Nkiru and Esther have been keeping her company. I am sorry, Your Majesty, but I, I am disappointed. How could you keep a woman in the palace? Oh, well, her life was uh, threatened in the apartment where she stays and uh, she decided to come and be under the protection we have here in the palace. Uh, I did discuss this issue with Doko and she said uh, to give her approval it would take another seven days. In seven days from now, someone will offer a gift of bracelet to the Queen of Heaven and That gift must never be accepted. I'd like to see the Queen. Am I obliged? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, is there a problem, Uncle? Um, many has given men in the ruling class a task. And we will resolve it. I am king and leader of this particular ruling class. And I desire to know what this Omeni said. Your Majesty, please believe me when I say to you that we shall solve it. Where is the queen? In the world of best countries. Your Majesty.
My sister and I went to Akaziago. We did so many things there. But since I came back to Ibenato, I've not been able to remember anything. And I don't know why. Hmm. Ever since the governor was poisoned by a woman of Akaziago that worked as a chief cook at the government house, I've become very worried of hearing Akaziago. I'm very surprised he went there. Yes. You must be the visitor to the palace that the king has been talking about. Yes, Uncle. Actually, that's the queen to be. And um, we have been doing our best to keep her company. Uh, would you excuse us for a moment? Huh? Yes. Okay, we excuse us. only surviving elder of the family and I have come to advise the coming queen. Thank you very much uncle. I am listening. It may happen in the next three days that you are confronted with the gift of bracelet. I advise you to reject it. I'm very surprised you're saying this, Uncle. I love bracelets and I was trained not to reject gifts. I don't know the authority that trained you. But what I am saying to you, brothers, on the matter of life and death, a gift of bracelet will be presented. And a gift of bracelets must never be accepted. Because acceptance will bring calamity to the palace. And we don't want that, do we? Um, who is this person that will present me with a gift? I don't know who is going to present you with a gift. All I know is that it must never be accepted. After all, the king has already told us that he has chosen you as his life partner. He has chosen you as his queen. He has chosen you as, as a woman he will want to spend the rest of his life with. That is nothing that we can do to change his mind. So please, do not, and I repeat, do not accept the gift of bracelet. You have something you want to say. What's the matter? I am going to present this bracelet to her and her mind will be blown off. Then she will become our slave girl forever and ever. <laughs> Sister, do you think that would be necessary? Why? This is the right time to do what our mother said. Sister, you can't do that. Our mother is dead. There will always be time when wickedness must be suspended. What are you saying? 
Are you saying I am wicked or what? You took me to Akaziako and for some reasons I wasn't able to remember anything. But now I remember it all. Sister Ogo, I want you to stop all this evil mission of yours. You want a bastard to reign over us forever? Oh, Sister Ogo, stop. Our brother is now the king of Ebenato. He's not a bastard. Just show him little kindness. Give his wife the approval that only you, as the eldest daughter of the family, can give. I save us all from this embarrassment. And if I don't, then I'll go to Ebenato and tell them everything. Are you aware that my daughter ran away after her father? What makes you think you can also betray me? No one will betray you. No one is even planning to do that. All I want is for you to show a little kindness as the eldest daughter of the family. For peace to reign in the palace. Dad, I don't know why you want me to do this. I don't want to go back to mommy's house. I want to stay here with you. My little daughter, I am not asking you to go there and remain there. All right? I appreciated every moment that we spent together since you've been back here with me. I want you to go back to your mother. Talk to her. Talk some sense into her. Make her understand that we are one big family. And I know you can do it for me. And you really think she'll listen to me? Never say never. Just go and talk to her. Spend the night with her. Talk to her all through the night. I'm sure you'll convince her. Dad, you barely know mom. She could seize me, you know, permanently this time. And then you won't get to see me again. Just let's stay. Let's stay the beautiful home, Daddy. I know my sweetheart. Your mother cannot do such a thing. But if she does, I'll come for you. We are one big family. You understand? Please come and go. Okay? You can go. All right? Extend my regards to her, all right? She went to see your girl. I really don't know what is keeping her. She should have been here by now. I have this feeling that Antogo hates me. I don't know where I went wrong. <laughs> Ogo's problem is not hatred. She's just simply domineering. You know, she always wants to be in charge. It's the problem she has with everyone. It's not just you. So, have you been able to understand the meaning of the advice from Uncle Dolui? That's the reason why she traveled. Look, don't worry. Everything is being handled. Okay? Okay. You're such a wonderful sister. And I feel so indebted to you. Look, I'm only respecting who ought to be respected. Because I know that one day, I also would need to be respected. Mm. I love you so much, Esther. <laughs> I love you too. Trust me. Come on, eat your apples.
Turning down my gift? No, really, Auntie. Do you realize I'm the first daughter of this family and there are things I can do? Auntie, I know you're the first daughter of the family and that is not in distress, but I must not accept the gift. I'm sorry. I didn't do whatever they call you. Take this bracelet and wear it here and now. Are you forcing me to accept a gift? I said I love bracelets, but I must not accept this. I was warned and I'm going to be a fool to undermine it. I'm sorry, Auntie. Take this gift and wear it! Are you sure this is still an ordinary bracelet? Why are you bent on having me wear it? Take this bracelet and wear it before I get back from you. Where do you think you're going? Take this bracelet and wear it now! As far as I'm concerned, she believes I'm dead. She blew a white substance into my face and I passed out. What? She carried me, me into her bath for me to die there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come you must wear this bracelet. She's forcing me to collect the bracelet. I already said no, and she's insisting. You're supposed to be dead. Well, she didn't die. Ogo, why are you this weekend? Why have you been plotting my downfall when I'm forgiving you for all the wickedness you unleashed against me? Why did you go to Akazia to possess evil powers to manipulate the coming of the Queen? Why have you refused to give an approval you could give so easily? So, so disappointed, Omar. Very disappointed. <laughs> no, don't do this! Do it! Disappointment to royalty. Uncle, in her absence, I am now the head of the daughters of this family. Yes, of course. I didn't do my dear. Yes, Auntie. I give you the approval we always wanted to marry my brother. Thank you, Auntie. You are the common queen for the matter. Congratulations. Thank you, Auntie. 
It's your will this day, oh Lord. My word I've given to you. In everything I do, while I am back in this race, oh Lord, be mine for life. Welcome. It's your will this day, oh Lord. My word I've given to you In everything I do While I am back in this race Oh Lord, be mindful 